Hey everyone! So I just finished getting a few of my toiletries that I needed and I stopped by Ladder A and I got a few macaroons and then I ended up getting a few more for free so thank you for that blessing. <laughs> so oh I actually need to go to that store too. Um, oh yeah I actually wanted to talk today about cults and continue my other video and why people even gravitate towards cults and some of the revelations that I got for myself but give me one second okay I'm back I had to pause the video because I have to go in the grocery store and I don't like recording in grocery stores so I wanted to talk about why people gravitate towards cults um, continuation from my last video and just based on some of the comments that were left there you know, some people don't understand how people can be so easily brainwashed, yada, yada, yada. But I just wanted to share some of the insights that I personally received about like why I was even drawn to that vibration. Maybe this will help somebody else, or maybe not. You know, maybe it's just my um, journey. But I thought I would share that. So, wow. <laughs> One second. Okay. Whoa. So... One thing that came up for me was that the energy of being enslaved was um, very apparent, not just in this lifetime, but previous lifetimes. People that have been enslaved, you're more drawn to cult-like, either cult-like groups, cult-like organizations, or even families that are very controlling. You know, I had that too, if you were raised in a controlling household, a narcissistic household, etc, etc. All that is still with the vibration of being enslaved in previous lifetimes, or even present lifetimes, etc. So that was one thing that really came up for me. So it's good to have that awareness so you can clear it. That's definitely a major vibration that I had to clear because it's easy to fall into that kind of dynamic. Um, just because of the energy that is within. And then there's also the usual, you know, feeling isolated or feeling alone, especially when you're on a more spiritual journey and you're not resonating with a lot of people in your area. You're going to want to reach out. Sorry, I'm walking up the hill. Woo, I'm going to have to cut some of this out because I'm huffing and puffing. So the second reason is sense of belonging. So when you're on a more spiritual journey or you're just not resonating with people in your area, you're obviously going to try to reach out to people that understand you, get you or are on a similar journey as you. So it's easier to gravitate towards cults or just group think organizations or, or like even a Facebook group or a community group because you want that sense of belonging and you tend to overlook any kind of controlling or dogmatic beliefs or structures in place because of that. Sorry I'm huffing and puffing, but I'm literally walking up a hill with 10 pounds of stuff in my bag. I'm going to try to stop and finish this video and then I'll continue so I'm not huffing and puffing too much. Okay. And the third reason that came up for me for gravitating towards cult or even just group like behavior and organizations has to do with like lack of confidence and a lack of direction within your own self like lack of self-belief is very strong and a lot of people struggle with that so when you're in that space when you fully don't believe in yourself you lack confidence you're not really sure who you are you're able to be easily manipulated easily swayed in all different kind of ways and essentially this is definitely for your growth they're all lessons learned, you know, um, especially when you get more clarity and you start to see through it and you really start to build your confidence. You'll start to understand like how all these things have their place and they really do help you on your journey. But it's essentially also good to get to that point. You know, a lot of people do get trapped in these brainwashing organizations for decades and decades and some never even get out of it. So if you are constantly asking yourself these questions and even just asking for more clarity on what the reason is why you even gravitated towards that vibration, you'll start to get more answers. And I feel like all of us have to do that. Um, if you found yourself in these cult-like groups or whatever, you know, or even like family 
you know, if your parents were controlling this, then they're like, we're all still in that same vibrational energy. So it's good to have that self-awareness and why I am creating that for myself in this lifetime. Because you're not going to be able to move through it if you don't have the awareness. And we literally do pick all of this. Like, you know, we picked our parents. So, you know, if they're controlling, if they're narcissists, we can't keep on being like, oh, they're just narcissists. We have to keep on blaming them. We attracted this vibration for a reason to teach us something about ourselves that we embodied, whether in a previous lifetime or we are still embodying in this lifetime for us to get the strength and the courage to move through it and overcome it and become more empowered, I'm sorry, empowered sovereign beings. You know, that is really the end goal. We have to take our power back from so many different ways. Um, you know, there are just so many aspects you could be in this controlling dynamic. Physically, astrally, it can go um, in so many different avenues. So yeah, I just thought I would share a little bit about that because I know some people don't understand like, oh, how do you even fall into these cults or how do you even fall into all this stuff? It's so easy to see through it. And really, it's not that easy for everyone because we all have similar lenses, you know, so, um, and everybody's in different stages of their journey, it's different stages of self-belief, empowerment, confidence, and like there's so many different elements. So where some people are also clearing past life, karmic energies, and everything. So it all goes hand in hand. So yeah, just a quick little video, almost up the hill. Whew, this is one workout. So... <laughs> Sorry if I'm huffing and puffing too much in this video, but yeah, trying to do a little walk and a talk yeah, today. But yeah, I will check in with you guys in the next video. Maybe I will take you guys to the city center, Liberty Square or something, because I'm still in my neighborhood. And, you know, me walking down the street can only go so far. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.